Man versus food coming soon to Travel Channel. Four and a half uh, pound Irish breakfast in Boston to a three and a half pound sandwich in Burlington, Vermont. The new host, Casey Webb, steps up to the challenge with gusto. New man, new food, same epic battle. Casey joins us here as they get ready for a new season of Man v. Food. What'd you have for breakfast? Uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee. What did you have for dinner last night? Dinner was, ah, oh, this is this great place down where I grew up in Jersey. It's uh, Tide Tacos. It was so, it's an authentic little Mexican place that has some great tacos. So about a half a dozen tacos. But what do people expect when they see you out? <laughs> Uh, they expect me to eat uh, you know, a lot more food than uh, I probably do on you know on the regular basis, or something really spicy. So it's um, yeah, they expect a lot. But are you competitive? <laughs> do you have to be competitive with what you're doing for the purposes of the show? Yeah, yeah. it's. Uh, I mean, I train like any other athlete would. You know, <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> Put my gym clothes on, fall asleep on the couch, and then uh, wear the gym clothes all day. And then, you know, that's pretty much like working out. But, no, I mean, it's very much like you have to prepare yourself for these larger things or these spicy things. So. Okay, but how does one become the host of Man versus Food? That's a good question. I think, uh, you know, the show was on for four seasons, and then it was off for five years. And then the good folks at Travel Channel wanted to bring it back, so they scoured the countryside and uh, wound up being me. So it was uh, more of an audition process. Well, how do you audition? Um, so, I, so basically it was the show in, uh, you know, in a limited amount of time. And then there was a challenge at the end of it to, to see if one could take down, um, you know, it was like a burger challenge. So I Wait, did pretty you, good. You had other guys that you're competing with for the, to eat no, the burger? No, it was, or? it was a one-on-one -on -one thing. It was me and food. It wasn't anything <laughs> different than, uh, what the show is now, but, uh, they kept it under wraps. We didn't know that it was going to be MVF, so... It was a surprise to me when I finally was told that I got the show. I was like, oh, okay, I guess I'm going to be busy. <laughs> How often does food win? Um, you know, you'll have to tune in, Dan, in the second season. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, uh, I'm definitely an underdog in this. I'm not a um, professional competitive food eater, but uh, I, now I am. You know, I'm now the face of that. So it's been a challenge, to say the least, but um, it's been ex exceptionally, you know, it's been fun. You know, it's been a lot of fun to take on these uh, these challenges. Uh, as a kid, you know, there was like, there's a pizza challenge down the Jersey Shore that I took on. There's a milk challenge, and that was fun. And then, um, you know, being in the restaurant business as long as I have been, it's uh, just these two worlds collided, you know, from, you know, I have some acting background as well. So well, the milk challenge is it to drink a gallon? <laughs> to drink a gallon of milk. I don't suggest it, guys. I don't, I don't know if you've ever done that. You guys are dairy-free, huh? Yeah? Bunch of vegans, are you? Lactose yeah. intolerant. Lactose intolerant, yeah. yeah, more so. Okay, but it's I didn't a close think, studio audience. So. I, didn't, I didn't think somebody could drink a gallon of milk. They, you, tip, you can't. That's the thing. You, okay. um, some people probably with longer bellies could yeah. probably take it, take it, uh, take it down. But uh, yeah, your body just gives up on you. When's the last time you sat down and you're looking at that meal? You're looking at food, and you just know <laughs> that food's looking back and laughing at you. Uh, every time. Every time. Really? Yeah. yeah you there's gotta, never. Have you ever had an advantage where you felt like I got this? Well, it's definitely you have to psych yourself up. You have to get into that so-called zone when taking on any sort of challenge in life, right? So food is no different. Um, yeah, it laughs you in the face, and then you you know you do your best to conquer it. And sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. When you when you get full, you stop eating. Um, What's the single most daunting meal you ever had? Uh, it would have to be spicy. The spicy stuff is. Uh, because when you're done eating, it's it's not done. It's, you know, it's starting. It's, it's just starting. It's just starting. <laughs> so that's you know that that's probably the most daunting out of all of them, spicy ones. Yeah. Are you going to be in Minnesota with us at the Super Bowl? Yeah. Is that an invitation? Mm. <laughs> Am I invited to Minnesota? Sure. I would love to be there. Because Paulie has a place, or at least there's a kind of hamburger that you love there. Ooh. Yeah. Very popular in Minnesota is Juicy Lucy Burgers. There's a few different places, and they put two burgers, cheese inside, and they're fantastic. But there's a, a lot of debates over which have the best one. We want to try all of them. There's two main ones. If you need uh, you need a pro in your corner, guys, I'd be more than happy to uh, follow tag along. He walks in, it greases the wheels. Yeah, right, literally. But do people <laughs> try to challenge you when you're not on camera with food? Not yet. It hasn't happened yet, thankfully. Because I would, <laughs> if I saw you walking in, right, and I uh -oh. wanted a piece of you, it's on. Then I would say I'm going to order for you. Oh. And then let's go. I mean, if people start buying me meals, sure, why not? <laughs> you know, yeah. uh, my relationship might uh, be suffer from that. Uh, you know, my girlfriend might hate me, but, uh, you know. Do you watch your food? I mean, how much you— Do I watch it? Do you, you know, the intake of it, watch your weight, 
your health, all of these things. Because you're not eating healthy here. Right. I mean, these are foods that we crave, Dan. Like, these are foods that you crave, that I crave, that these guys definitely crave. Um, so, you know, you have to watch your intake. I got to take care of myself like anybody else. All kidding aside, I do get off the couch after putting my gym clothes on and go to the gym. Oh, you do? Um, yeah, it's important. You know, for the purpose of the show, you know, that is, I'm eating those foods. You know, there's no question of that. Um, outside of that, I don't eat that way every day, you know. But for the show, it's a, it's a show about, you know, this, this greater competition. Oh, so p- People have to be so disappointed if you go to a restaurant and there's no cameras <laughs> there and all of a sudden they see you having like a little salad or something. <laughs> Because yeah. oftentimes when we're filming, it's like, yeah, I'm eating a little bit lighter in preparation to take on this giant thing. So like, wait, you, you're not getting the burger, you know? So, yeah, there's a little bit of that. But, uh, you know, I, I still got to take care of myself. You know? Who picks where you go? So we have a gr- uh, great folks at, with the production company. Um, they have a team of people that, um, that look for places throughout the country. So as a result of the show being on the air for four seasons, it's been five years off season, right? So there's thousands of new places that have opened up that have challenges. So a lot of times folks call in or they'll write in fans or people mm-hmm. that uh, love the, those restaurants will, you know, send an email over to the production company and be like, hey, you should check us out if you have time, if you're coming through whatever city, USA. So, yeah, it's been it's been great. There's no shortage of places to go to, as I found out. Coolest place you've been to? I, you know, I'm so in love with New Orleans. Um, I was able to – we were able to go there last season – um, so that's last season. First season was, uh, New Orleans. It's such a beautiful city and so much history. And then this season we got to go to Pittsburgh, which I had never been to. I'm from New York, New Jersey area. It's not Chicago. It's not Philly. It's not New York. It's its own little Island, Pittsburgh. And it's, it's had it's such a blast. People are so great. Huge food scene, huge beer scene. So yeah, it's probably one of my new favorite place. But you have people who were there watching you eat. Oh yeah. Does that help or hurt? <laughs> Honestly, it's uh, that's what gets me through it. That's what gets me to the other side. Because when you know this, your back's against against the wall with some of this stuff. It's it's hard to push through. And when someone's cheering you on, like any sport, you know, coming from a sports background, it really pushes me over. And it's 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 changed the game for me. You know, it's it's it was the difference between win or lose sometimes. You know, where here's someone cheering on, like a little kid cheering me on, and I start laughing. And then I just push through. You know, so. when's the last time you threw up? Uh. I don't know. I think I was in college. Oh, so never, <laughs> never on the show after the show. Well, you know, uh, I, I no, actually, I uh, when you're full, stop eating. You know, when you're done, stop eating, guys. That's just my advice to everybody out there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, don't stop, guys. <laughs> you guys have a big meal. I heard recently. To... Uh, we did last night. We had steak. Yeah, very good. How'd that go? Uh, it's still going well. I well think. Done. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's still still going well. Missed out on that one, but uh, I'll see you guys in, uh, I'll see you guys for the Super Bowl. Uh, yeah. You look like you may have uh, played some football there. I did. Yeah, I was uh, lucky enough to play high school and a little bit of college football. Um, I played some baseball as a kid. Uh, I looked more like uh, Babe Ruth and played like Doctor Ruth, but for oh, baseball. Oh. But I was a better football player. <laughs> I was a better football player. You got some Chris Farley mannerisms too. Yeah, face a lot of face. Somebody turns, turns. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dude, lucky enough, I have my, you know, uh, I got a, you know, I, uh, I have the same expression on my face as I, as I did when I was a little kid. So that's, that's been Fritzy my does a pretty good Chris Farley oh, yeah? impersonation there. Is that going to happen? Uh, you guys think you're so funny throwing eggs. Well, I'm here to tell you <laughs> that you guys keep it up. You're not going to amount to Jack Squat. He's Casey Webb, <laughs> the host of Travel Channel's Man vs. Food, premieres Monday, December 4th at 9 Eastern. Great to see you. Thanks, Thanks for joining us. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.